Hey guys, wanted to talk to you about my uh, my 10 mil. It's uh, shooting some really hot rounds, and um, the stock, the original uh, recoil spring would uh, send the brass flying out about about 30 feet. Literally, it, it, it just flies way away. So um, I actually, uh, you know, I wanted to get a heavier poundage uh, spring. So I bought a lone wolf before. This is what it was, but the lone wolf was damaging uh, my um, low receiver, the plastic part of it, because the diameter is too small. I wanted to show you um, again. See the diameter difference between a lone wolf and original? It's a uh, you know quite a bit smaller, and it's actually pounding um, with every time the 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 slide would. Uh, cycle it would actually hit the plastic and, and there's a little bit like a dent in the plastic now so and it's it's it hasn't been that many rounds it's like 1500 rounds and then half of them uh, less than half of them were my hot loads that I use now so again as you can see and it's actually easy fix all they have to do is change the cap but um, again when I found out that there's an issue with this again works fine and cycles fine but it just keeps beating up my frame the plastic part of it so I went uh, online and uh, tried to find a different product and I have found it and uh, here is here it is so this is called a Gentra here it is I'll show you Gentra competition guide rod kit so uh, it's got the largest diameter hardness uh, stainless steel guide rod so it'll give you less muzzle rise also uh, non captured for faster and easier spring changes and hopefully when I'm going to shoot uh, two, the, the two different pounds of springs that I, I bought um, hopefully the 24 will malfunction and then I'll show you how easy it is to swap them out um, it's hardened steel uh, and it's got the, the reducer ring. It's hardened steel reducer ring. It's got this thing that's just to make it uh, compatible with um, what's it called with the uh, Gen 4. And the uh, rod and ring fit has minimal clearance for a better look. So it, it you'll see right now. Actually, it's it's really it's really nice. So this is the original spring. Okay. This is the Lone Wolf. Uh, stainless steel guide rod with a 22 pound spring and here is my 24 pound spring and I'm just gonna use it right quick to kind of show you what's up so take your slide you take your little reducer ring you stick it on and then you uh, feed the, the spring through the, the what's it called the guide rod or the guide rod through the spring so that's the correction quickly put it on just like so there it is um, also the the spring is lone wolf I think uh, not lone wolf I'm sorry it's wolf springs they're the only ones that'll actually wide enough to fit around this uh, larger diameter a guide rod and uh, here's the receiver little receiver okay and also you can check out and see how, how it looks up front it's a little bit longer than the original um, I guess the original would stop here so and also the feel of it it's it feels really I mean this is 24 pound spring but it really feels just nice you know so actually let's uh, test fire it and see what happens okay here we go let's do a 24 pound test all right look at that locked back just like it's supposed to so that's kind of nice okay guys so I just fired off uh, six shots three off camera and three on camera uh, and um, it uh, fired perfectly fine cycled and also locked back that's the most important feature that it actually locked back uh, with the 24 pound uh, spring but again if you wanted to change it because I have a 22 pound spring if you wanted to change it it's real easy here's my 22 pounder you pull the pull the assembly out here's the spring here's the new spring
boom, you can slide it back in, you know, ready to go. I'm actually very excited that my the 24 pound spring actually worked because I was actually looking for something a little bit heavier. Actually, my paint's peeling off. So if you're gonna do a, a kind of paint it, it's actually gonna peel off because of the, I guess, the high recoil of the 10 mil. But yeah, I highly recommend that it's got a cap that is just as big as the stock so protect the, the, the plastic part of your, um, what's it called, of your uh, low receiver so it doesn't get beat up. And it re really feels really, really good. I mean, I really, I'm really stoked about it. It's really cheap. I think it's like 35 bucks. And I would really recommend that it. it's a um, Gentra competition guide rod kit. This is the extra long one. As you can see, it's, it sticks out a little bit longer. Here's the name again. You know, competition guide rod. Some of the information that I don't know, okay, man, sounds really, yeah, see, that's the extra long. So, yeah, I highly recommend it. Um.